Alright, I've labbed this combo a little bit. I've learned a bit about the ins and outs of it. And there it is in all its glory. Here we go. What is this combo? Well, let me rewind a bit. Maybe I should have rewinded it earlier so it doesn't take this long. But, here is hit by hit. This is just what it looks like. And then I'll go over some of the specifics and some of the stuff that you need to know if you want to hit it yourself. Okay, down light into side light. Very simple. True combo. Two hit. As you can see, I start the down light when I'm about stacked, or my hands are like touching Ada's hands, so that the side light hits in this downward angle and far enough to where the neutral light will still be inescapable. This neutral light is honestly the hardest part of the combo for a couple reasons. It's hard to get it to be completely true and inescapable. Dex stance makes it a lot easier. And also, the neutral light needs to push you off stage. As you can see right here, I'm kind of hovering so that I can get the chase dodge diagonal down down air, which X pivots into the ceiling, and then I delay the recovery. So this blue dot right here you see on Cassidy, this is the first frame that I can act, basically. But you can see it's a few frames before I do the recovery, and this recovery is a reverse recovery. And there we go. That's the combo. So what are the few things you need to know? Well, I mentioned them very briefly. You want Ada to be in this position right here, which if it wasn't for Twilight's big, nice lanterns right here, it might be a little bit uh, <laughs> might be a little bit hard to tell. But luckily, as long as you're within these two lanterns, the combo should work. It's actually pretty consistent once you get everything down. Uh, I'll, I'm willing to bet I'm gonna miss it a bunch of times in this video, but that's also just because I just started labbing it. Full credit by the way, I should have said this at the beginning, goes to that Cyan Gaming on the subreddit for finding this. I did not find this. I am not that big brain. I also don't play Hammer, so. The, the few things you need to know. Okay, so positioning starts right here. You kind of want to be about this distance away for the side light to hit, give or take. It's not that precise. You saw right there that Ada didn't die. That's because I didn't delay the recovery long enough. Ada was still pretty much dead if I just went for that. But, that's a whole nother story. The next thing is getting the neutral light so that you get this offstage positioning so that you can get the dare. Because this is what it looks like if you don't get the offstage positioning. That happens. Because dash takes priority over chase dodge when you do a diagonal down on the ground, you actually won't be able to get the down air. That was actually true, by the way. Interesting. So... Or that happens so you got to be pushed off stage with the neutral light and that's why there needs to be enough room here to do so you also can't have too much room because this is what happens if you have too much room uh, either it misses or the down air sends a little bit too far to the left and Ada goes right up there and not on the ceiling and that's a very bad position for you you don't want to be down here so, it's pretty tight, but again, once you get it, it's pretty consistent. Like, I haven't really even practiced it that much, and I was hitting it pretty consistently, as you can see right there. I tested it, it works on multiple defenses. I didn't test, uh, like, 8, tested, uh, 4, tested 5, Bodvar, Ada, the standard, Petra. Works on all of them. I'm willing to bet that the timing is pretty much the same. See, there, there is what I was talking about with the positioning. And a little bit of timing uh, messing up there. Dodge window opened up a little bit. But this is why we should ban Twilight. <laughs> no, this is not why we should ban Twilight, but this is another good argument for banning Twilight. I am not a fan of the map. I mentioned this in a few videos. I pick it, I leave it open in tournaments. It's really good for my character. There's some more examples of it messing up. I say that like I mess it up on purpose. But it is it is good to look at why it doesn't work, right? Like there it didn't work because I delayed the recovery just one frame too long. And there it worked despite having a dodge window. And I don't know. I feel like this is more practical than it looks, right? Because if you're positioning right here, I completely lost my train of thought on the Twilight thing. I don't. I think Twilight is a not not a very good competitive map. Hitting right here, this is a pretty big window. Like, 
you can hit it from here, 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 here. You know, all these positions. Unfortunately, missing the recovery there. And it's not that hard. With a little bit of practice, you can get it. Like, I'm getting it maybe, like, 50% of the time, practicing it for 10 minutes. So, if you're a Cassidy player, go you. If you're a, a Hammer player, maybe go into Strikeout, maybe go into Experimental, try it out. See how many people you can hit with it. It's pretty... It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. The X pivot there is really satisfying. So, uh, so yeah, there's the combo. I don't want to go on rambling too long. Uh, but there is one other combo that was recently posted by that Cyan Gaming. Again, full shout outs to them. I did not find this. Uh, let's hop in to a game with Yumiko. Alright, here is the Yumiko one real quick. Uh, that Enzig dropped, apparently. That was a little wild. There's the Yumiko combo. Unfortunately, I didn't get the full knockout because I didn't get the first hit, but I'll still break it down for y'all. I don't- that keeps dropping. That is interesting. And it seems like it's pretty consistent with the drop. Alright, here we go. Basically, you do an NSIG about the height of the little bulb on the Enigma platform. I don't know if that's what it is. You see in the middle, there's that little green thing. That's about the height that you want to do it. A little bit below that, you do the GC NSIG, grab them, send them down, chase dodge down dare immediately, and then do a normal recovery, a bit delayed, into the direction of where the opponent is. And that should do it. So again, there's a few differences between this. Number one is a chase dodge down into dare, and the other one is the normal recovery. Uh, the reverse recovery won't get there in time. And there's a few things. I think the hardest part about this is in the beginning, similar to the other one, so that the NSIG doesn't land on stage like that. So the NSIG apparently doesn't drop like it's been doing. And uh, confirming the kill, I guess. So there, I actually didn't confirm the kill. Ada was not at enough damage, but... If you could see clearly, that ground pound would have done it anyway. I was a little bit slow on the down air there, unfortunately. Getting the first hit of the NSIG without landing on stage is actually pretty difficult. Your positioning has to be really good. Uh, I myself am not a Yumiko player, so... Maybe my spacing on the, on the SIG won't be as good as you if you are a Yumiko player. That keeps dropping, which is very unfortunate, but... You can see the combo still works. Oh, there we go. Dipped a little low there. Ended up dying in the process, but I still got the knockout. Still got the uh, the knockout effect, even with the second hit. Apparently I was wrong. I, I thought you had to hit the first hit to get enough damage, but I guess Ada is on three defense, so maybe it makes sense. And there we go. There's the Yumiko combo. Two hammer combos. Again, not found by me. A little bit slow there. So full shoutouts to the subreddit those are words that i thought i would never say brahala subreddit is definitely a a place for sure <laughs> anyway yeah i thought these were really cool i thought people might be interested in hitting them so i wanted to give a little tutorial for all y'all there we go